Hey there guys and welcome back. So if you remember a while ago I did a video on some budget wagons and I said that I was going to paint them up. So today we're going to start doing that. Now I may record this over a couple of days because you've got to let paint dry and stuff like that. So we are going to be painting these. Now I have three of them and just for this video I'm just going to paint the one so you can kind of see like a before and after. And just to recap, so obviously we've got the wagons, we have got the Tamiya paint which is silver leaf and then before you paint anything you want a good primer so we've just got a light grey primer which will give that a really nice base coat. So first off with these, what I did, I do have one that I've already prepared down to one side but I wanted to strip away what I could from the truck. Now I had some problem with with these and being that see these little screws here there's one there and there is also if I can get this on the camera on you can just see under that as I've moved it there's another screw there. Now then with the screwdrivers what I have I struggled and I was unable to remove these so for these the body is going to have to stay on. Now I know you may think well hang on surely it's got to come off but I did find a way around this so we're going to have a look at that and we're going to try painting it as it is um, you know to see how it turns out. So first off yes I was panicking about not being able to get the body off but then I started having a look around and if you notice um, you just got a very sign, a slight gap there, a very slight gap there where the molding actually fits. So what I did with that was, is I got a piece of A4 paper and I was able to very gently, as you can see, slide the paper in. Now obviously it's not perfect, it's not completely, you know, airtight, it is a little gap as you can see there and obviously you'll see a couple of gaps around the front but this is a great way to do this so I didn't have to take the whole body off let's put that to one side now the coal load as well was super super easy let's see if I can do this with my hands no you will need a very small screwdriver for this uh, but basically this comes out nice and easy on these trucks so let me just get the one in that I've already prepared now here as you can see we've got the coal load and it's also good that this is taken out because if you choose to, um, like I showed on my uh, latest video, you'll see that it's easy to put a colour in which looks more realistic. So you could always get rid of these, infill it, and then put a re more realistic colour in. So that's another great little thing to go with this. So here is the finished, well I say finished, but here is the model with the pieces of paper popped in it now obviously I know this doesn't look the best it doesn't look the most professional but for me as someone who's never done this before you know I'm trying to do this in kind of what well, in a way you know I'm trying not to damage anything and as you can see for the most part it covers all the basics everything what that I need and also what I find as well because the paper you can kind of get the paper to droop down slightly like this as you're going to paint this, um, depending on what, so, you know, if you're doing it on, like, say, a wooden surface or anything like that, then you you could actually kind of hold this, and your hands would be pretty safe and covered. So there we go. So that for me is all ready to go start putting the paint on. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do that off camera, um, because obviously, you know, I don't want to. <laughs> show like a messy carriage or somewhere where I'm going to paint this but I will just put say one thing out there if you are painting if you are a younger person make sure that you wear uh, gloves goggles a face mask so you don't inhale anything make sure you do it in a well well ventilated area you know outside if possible uh, because you don't want to get this um, you know on your lungs in your mouth um, as you can see you know there are you know, various warnings on these can so be super super careful if you are someone younger get the help of an adult to do this so what I'm going to do now I'm going to cut the camera um, I'm going to go downstairs and spray this and there are spraying instructions on the tin and what I'll do I'll just hold that there for if you want to have a look but basically 15 to 30 centimeters away um, 
very lightly spray the paint on uh, and you know, build up your layers like a little bit at a time to make sure that you get a nice even coat don't just overdo it and let's see how we get on and what it looks like with this so here we are back at the workstation now this has all been done in the primer we'll put that piece back on in a minute as you can see they just come off dead easy and that's looking quite well that I'm really really liking the look of this to be honest I kind of like the colour that that's come up with as well so we'll just have to see what it looks like with the actual colour when that's done and a good thing about primer as well is it tends not to take too long to dry I mean I did this about 10 minutes ago and as you can see I can touch that and there's nothing on my fingers but I would still give this a good half hour to an hour just to dry make sure it's perfectly fine and then we'll go down and we'll put the second coat on or the actual should I say not the second coat the colour what we're going to try this with and then we'll see how that gets along so we'll check back with you in a minute right okay guys so it's a bit later in the day now what we've done we've gone outside we're painting this with the other colour and then look at this this is quite a nice really nice shiny finish and that looks really really good for me i think that's quite really well and again if we look i'll try and get in a bit closer as you can see for the most part there isn't of pretty much all of it actually there's no paint is actually gone where I don't want it and it's out of the way of the frame underneath now for me I'm not going to paint this frame I'm just going to paint this um, I know some people may prefer it you know if it looks a, all a bit more weathered um, but for me I'm just going to do the body on this so here we go so what we have done we've just got two paper clips I've just put them into a piece of like packing foam if you're not getting like this put a couple of pieces of paper down um, just so your paint doesn't go everywhere I've, like I said, I've just secured it with this so as you can see it's you know it's not going to go anywhere and then we'll get down to the painting so let me just move this back as you can see I've just changed the camera slightly now years ago I used to do a hobby called Warhammer uh, and the paints what these guys do are called Citadel and they're really really good range of paints and they're not too expensive to get either so these obviously are leftover ones what i've got so i've got one called null oil which is kind of used for more of say um you know like making metal uh look a bit more like, worked in a bit more used and we've got this and it gives like a like an oily black kind of look we've got this agrax earth shade which is a bit more of a slightly like a brown type colour and then this is going to be possibly for a little bit later just to give maybe like a bit of a rust feel to it um, and we're going to or maybe use a different one I say I'm not I mean I'm trying to make this video a bit no not too long but you know we want I want to do like a bit of a you know, I want to kind of do this as well as I can so if you stay with me this long thank you very much uh, we're going to go with the null oil so that'll give like a bit of a black look a bit of a uh, a dark look so just give this a bit of a shake and the good thing with these is when you do that and you open these pots up you get like a bit of a well here now what you need you just want like a stuffed brush I mean like I said you can get brushes from these guys as well I just to let you know this isn't sponsored or anything like that by these this is just um, old stuff what I've got which still you know works well uh, and, and you know all the paints are okay so I may as well use it rather than having to go out and buy new so what you want to do is you just want to take a very small amount of this paint I'll just show you that a bit closer and I'll just pop this just back to one side so I can bring the model in and then you're going to very lightly just apply that in the corners just like that hopefully you can see that a little bit closer let me just try and get that camera to focus in a little bit there you go that's a bit better and you just want to go around the whole model doing this 
Uh, now, don't worry, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect because, you know, let's face it, you know, when stuff gets weathered, you know, you don't get someone brushing perfect straight lines on it. So what I'm going to do, again, I'm going to cut the camera, we'll get all this done with this colour, just doing it exactly the same way, just highlighting, which is all you need to do with this, you're just highlighting all those areas. Okay guys, so I just wanted to do a quick check-in. Now, I started by doing this and I got about halfway through and I wasn't quite happy with the way it was like picking out the details and things like that. So what I've decided to do is I'm going to basically paint all of it with the wash, which as you can see is giving it a really nice, I mean it is still wet at the minute so you know this will you know dry out and start to look a lot better. But for me I just thought this started this give it a more of a, a better more used weathered look and I was far far more happier with how this is looking than uh, than it was before and the good thing with the wash is that as you can see there it is pooled up a little bit so I'll take some of that out but you can make it as dark or as light as you want you may need to wait for it to dry to make it a bit darker and then reapply a second coat but then as you can see I've gone inside with this as well. Now I've done the tops, which is obviously where you would get all your dust and everything from, you know, from being loaded and unloaded. So we're going to carry on with it like this. And again, we're going to do a full body version. When this is fully dried, then this will look, I think this will look really good. And don't forget, it doesn't have to be perfect. Don't forget these things in real life. They by no means look perfect. And just to show you, that's the original side. And then this is where we are up to. So yeah, so let's see how that finishes and that dries out. We'll finish the rest off. And then when all that's done, we'll come back and we'll show you the rest. Okay, so again, let's just do a check-in now. All this has dried and as you can see, I think for me, that looks really, really good. And you can see where I've applied it a bit thicker, you know, like representing the dust that you'd find. And I think that looks really good, and even inside. So, okay, so what we're going to do next is, let me move that back. And then what I'm going to get is this. Now when this goes off, this, as you can see by the lid, is more of a brown colour, brown earthy colour. So that will kind of give it a little bit of a rust look. So what we're going to do, I'll just pop this in the back so you, you can see the truck more what I'm going to do with the truck. So again, I'm get some of this. And then what we'll do is we're just going to pick out very few certain areas now i'm not going to go overboard with this just kind of a little bit like that so as you can see it's just giving that a little bit of a different color kind of like you would find like the bits of rust what you would see or expect on a wagon right okay so that didn't take too long to do so let's just have a quick look so as you can see we've got it peeling up around here and it's giving it quite a good you know like brownish look as you would find you know it's like the bits of rust and stuff like that now i did have a look through my box and if you see here we've got this kind of giving it that nice like bit of a rusty type look and i found this color so this is called get it to focus Genner's Gold, I think that is how that's pronounced. I think that's right. So what we're going to do with this is, now then, we're going to pop this straight on and kind of mix it in together with the Agrax I've just put on. So we'll just get a little bit of this, just to mix a little bit of that wet colour behind. And if you watch what this does, I'm just going to 
gonna gently go down there, say along here. And we're just gonna go a little bit down to like this line here, like that. And what that's doing, let me just try and turn the light colour up a bit more so you can see. Is that's gonna give it a bit of a good old rusty look. And that's looking really good. So I'll pause the camera again. I'm going to finish off doing exactly the same and then we'll come back and have a quick look again. And there we have it. So I just picked out some rough areas. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Picked out some of the front bits there. Splashed a, a little bit on the, the black buffers. From like, so, you know, years of coupling. And some of these areas look really good so we'll let this dry because obviously it's still a bit wet the colour will change slightly when it's dry and then we'll come back and then we will see the final finished thing okay guys so there we have it it is all done it's all finished everything's dry I've gone ahead and I've chose to add my own coal load, which I think looks a lot better than the plastic one. And I will say about the plastic one, don't forget, as you're painting these, uh, the one that was in this was a bit tight getting back in. So you may find you need to just give that a little bit of a sand, a little bit of a trim, just to get it to fit in or to slide in quite nicely. So yeah, so there we have it. And... I am absolutely thrilled to bits with how I've done with this. This is the first time I've had a go painting a, a wagon from a layout. And yeah, I am absolutely made up with this. This is going to look great on the railway. And do you know what? Yeah, it may not be perfect. You know, I've seen some people's work and it is absolutely mind blowing what they can do. But for me, with my skills and the first time doing this, I am absolutely thrilled to bits with how that's turned out. So I think what I'll be doing, I'll be doing the rest of them exactly the same way in due course time. And especially from a budget point of view, I'm definitely going to look at getting some more of these uh, hoppers to add to my collection to make a good rake of these. And I will paint every single one of them. And I may even get some different ones as well because I have seen some others. So let me know in the comments below. What do you think? Is it something that you, you're likely to have a go at or want to try yourself? Um, you know, Would you maybe like me to have a go at doing some work on this bit here? Um, to do like a proper little bit of weathering? Or do you think it's, you know, it's fine as it is? So anyway, if you've got this far, I hope I've not bored you. I hope it's not taking too long. And um, thank you very much for watching. And hopefully we shall see you in the next video.